Funding for infrastructure that will both improve the country's current situation and plan for the future has been placed high on the agenda in the 2022 national budget, Vice President Dr. Barjak Dio has announced. Just hours after it was disclosed on Friday that the budget will be presented to the country on January 26, Jack Dio in a televised interview said the government was keen to balance the spending for now and future welfare. The vice president promised new highways and roads, investment in energy and information and communication technology with efforts to make businesses more competitive and generate more jobs for citizens. So you will see the framework that we establish in our manifesto and we have spoken about that framework of ensuring infrastructure for future growth that that will be one of the dominant areas in the budget. So new highways, roads, investing on power grid, on ICT, the same things that make our business more competitive so we can generate more jobs and more diverse jobs in agriculture, in ICT, in other areas, not just oil and gas. That's, that's one area that will be a dominant area in the budget. Many people believe you can spend every cent now and consume it. If you do that, you can't plan for future years, increase prosperity in the future years. So we're balancing the spending on ourselves now versus future welfare. The vice president said the trend of reducing taxes, which was done in the two budgets, will continue. This is the ruling People's Progressive Party third budget since it returned to office 18 months ago in August 2020. Importantly, Jack Dew confirmed in the clearest terms yet that the 2022 budget will be financed in part by Guyana's oil profits. This is the first time that the government will be able to tap into that revenue, which has grown to over US $600 million in the last five years. The vice president did not say what would be the size of the withdrawal from the Natural Resource Fund, but assured that the oil money will help to reduce the previous resort to borrowing. Meanwhile, the 2022 national budget will allow the government to invest in crucial and priority development needs while keeping Guyana's debt to a minimum, according to the Finance Minister, Dr. Ashley Singh. While remaining tight-lipped on the major projects included in the budget, the Finance Minister assured Guyanese that the budget will be transformational, alluding to major investments in infrastructure geared at modernizing the face of the country. There's a very strong, you know, the implementation of the transformational agenda, the agenda to, to modernize the face of our country you know, in, with respect to things like physical infrastructure. Um, a lot of that is going to be happening in 2022. So the theme of transformation and modernization of Guyana is very deeply and heavily embedded in budget 2022. There's going to be a lot of lot of that. It's very transformational in that regard. Specifically, addressing the country's vulnerability to flooding, he referenced President Irfan Ali's commitment to overseeing the construction of three massive canals like the Hope Canal on the east coast of the Murara. Dr. Singh noted that the government has a well-known, ambitious development agenda, but he also acknowledged that the sourcing the money to fund that agenda is crucial. The finance minister, however, assured Guyanese that there will not be a total dependence on exploiting Guyana's oil wealth. Instead, he said the government will be tapping into alternative sources of financing. For the newsroom, Kurt Campbell.